What is good guys? Welcome back to another Gym Force video and today I want to talk to you guys about how to deal with Aizen players and what you can potentially do to win against them. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and stay tuned. So as you guys know, Sosuke Aizen is a pretty tough character to deal with online and he's probably the best character in Jump Force. With this type of character that Bandai has created, it is almost impossible for you to play the neutral game against him because he is so fast and precise with his movements. But there are some ways to get past his defenses. One way is to pick a character, preferably another swordsman like either Zoro, Dai or Ichigo that can match Aizen's speed or pick someone who has an ability that can overpower his own. Uh, this doesn't mean that you have to completely change your team around, but just add a third character that you can switch in to fight against Aizen. And not only not only is Aizen overall a good character, but he's also a great assist character. So actually putting him on your team alongside your other mains will help you out as well. You also must learn Aizen's attack pattern and know when his block string is going to end so you can punish him accordingly. But you also must be careful because most players will call in an assist to prevent you from inflicting damage upon him. One of Aizen's go-to moves, the Fiery, the fiery Lightning Howl is a devastating attack that will deal heavy damage to you even without getting hit by it with a combo. The attack, the attack has a very long attack radius to it, so instead of backdashing it, you're going to have to sidestep it. And since Aizen will still be doing his animation, that gives you time to punish him. Another way to beat this character is to constantly keep the pressure on him. If there's stamina canceling, you should super chase after them and don't allow Aizen to get any breathing room or to get his block string off. The last thing that will help you survive against Aizen pressure is to not panic and stamina cancel. Most players that I see play against Aizen instantly try to stamina cancel once they start taking damage, but the way Aizen works is his medium attack allows him to go behind the opponent regardless of where they are on the screen. The move is so good it can actually evade ultimates as well. If Aizen's attacks connect you're going to either want to eat the damage depending on the situation of the battle or stamina cancel in the beginning of the combo so you have time to recover and block before they try to do a medium attack and end up behind you. Okay guys so that is all the tips that I have for you to defeat these Aizen players. Sorry that this video isn't a little longer but Aizen is such a good character that there is barely anything that you can exploit while fighting against him. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know if this video helps you out with your ranked matches and helps you rank up. The next video I drop will probably be a gameplay video, so be on the lookout for that soon. And since I'm ending this video a little early, I'm going to let you guys enjoy this ranked match that I had against Zoro player. So like and subscribe guys for more content. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more, vid more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. さようなら諸君。